We are less than a week from Georgia's runoff election, and the biggest race locally will be the one for Fulton County District Attorney. It is the one everybody is watching, and Monday we talk with the incumbent, the District Attorney Paul Howard, about the issues facing him, and there are a few, including a criminal investigation into his conduct, as well as allegations he has politicized alleged misconduct by police. Tonight, we talk with Mr. Howard's opponent, his longtime assistant district attorney, Fonnie Willis. Here is 11 Alive's Doug Richards. Fonnie Willis spent 17 years employed as a prosecutor by Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard. Now she faces Howard in Tuesday's runoff, and she's not at all shy about clobbering her former boss when asked about the contest. I think it's a choice actually between um, integrity and corruption, good and bad. I think it's a, a classic fight, um, and I think that citizens will have to make a choice. We have a district attorney now that works for his own self-interest, uh, seems to care about the things that benefit him and not the community. Former prosecutor Fonnie Willis says Paul Howard took for himself tens of thousands of dollars that former Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed transferred to a nonprofit designed to help fight crime in underserved communities. Howard told 11 Alive News it was always intended for his personal bank account. I met with the mayor asking them for a salary supplement from the city of Atlanta. What I did is what Americans do all the time. We ask for pay raises, pay increases, and that's what I asked for. That's what the city of Atlanta sent over based upon the work that I had performed for the city. Paul Howard characterized that in an interview as simply requesting a raise. What do you think about that? I mean, I think it's ridiculous. What he did was rich in himself. It's, it's really horrible. It's not a pay raise. He can call it that all he wants. Um, it's a criminal offense. I believe he'll be arrested for it and ultimately prosecuted. He has the presumption of innocence, though, right? He does have the presumption of innocence, but the reality is when you represent the citizens, um, you need to be beyond reproach. Who he is is who he's shown you to be. And that is someone that cannot manage a stable office. That is someone that secretly puts money in their pocket. It's time for him to go. In the June primary, Willis beat Howard by about seven and a half percentage points. Howard's long career is on the line in Tuesday's runoff. Today marks 55.